Well, hey, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Welcome back to another video. This video, we are gonna be taking a look at a trio of embossing powders by WOW. It is called Riviera, and it's one of those chunky embossing mixes that gives you a fun marbled look. You guys are crazy about these sorts of embossing powders, and so we're really excited to add these to our shop. So you'll get a good look at all three powders as I uh, use them on these word dies. So I'm taking the thanks word die and I just dabbed it onto my wow embossing pad and then I'm covering it with the embossing powder and I'm going to heat it. Now because this embossing powder is made up of finer embossing powders and glitters along with chunkier embossing powders and glitters, it's a little different than other embossing powders on the market. So you have to treat them and use them in a little bit different way. So I find my favorite way to use these is on larger die cuts. So this big thanks die, any big chunky word die is gonna be great. We also have our anchor um, with, from our unsinkable release. The anchor is big and chunky and that would be perfect for some of these embossing powders. So when you cover it with embossing powder and you kind of tap it off, you have to be careful not to tap off all of the big chunks. So you can see through doing all three of these embossing powders, there I kind of just play around with it a little bit. The first one, I did the entire thanks all at once. This one I decided just to do half and half. So I found it actually a little bit easier to handle when I did it half and half. So half of the thanks, I'm going to emboss that and get it all the way I want it. And then I can dab the other side into the embossing pad. Now, I don't know if you are also noticing that um, sometimes I'm dabbing it back into the embossing powder without putting it back on my embossing pad. That's because if you have the embossing powder heated and liquefied and you put it into the embossing powder, it's going to pick it up because it's wet. So that's a great way to add layers. Um, just also note that when the embossing powder is heated in, in a liquid state, you put your finger on it and you're gonna make a mark. So if that happens, just heat it with your embossing gun again and heat it back up and smooth it out and you'll be good to go. Now this one, this, this aqua color, I'm pretty smitten over it. I actually thought this was gonna be my favorite one, but when they were all said and done, I love something different about all three of them. They're really gorgeous powders. That aqua color is really stunning. And I worked with it a little bit because I don't know if you saw at the very beginning when I first did it, a lot of the chunks came off, so it was just um, mostly aqua. And I wanted to get some more of those chunks back in. So, you know, play around and experiment with it and see what kind of looks you get. You may like a different look than I do and playing and getting a feel of it, you're gonna figure out how to use it in the way that you like. So now we have three really fun embossed funky die cuts. So let's make some cards. <laughs> so I'm using the awesome and wonderful stamp set. I thought, thanks, you are simply awesome would be a fun card to make. So I could leave it like that just with the sentiments on there, but I thought it would be fun to do a really light um, image behind in Sandcastle. This stamp is from the Say It and Diamond stamp set, which is a wildly popular uh, stamp set in our in our shop. So if you haven't grabbed it yet, the link will be below in the YouTube description. And that's it, a couple sequins from the Vegas Baby sequin mix and we're all done there. Now next up, we're gonna use the Be Wild stamp set. We're just gonna do a couple little flowers around. Now I stamped some on there and then I decided that I didn't quite love the positioning. So I kind of started over. But I thought mint to be Aquatini and Blackjack would be a great color combination for this. So you can't just flip over your cardstock and start over if you decide you don't like what you did. Or maybe you want to start uh, practicing or playing around with the design on um, just scratch paper, computer paper, uh, something like that first before you go to your cardstock. But the second way I positioned the stamps, I made sure to be careful about where I was gonna place my thanks. I think because of the sentiment embossed in this way, it's really busy, so you have to be careful about uh, what you do on your background. So I was a lot happier with this positioning of my stamps, so 
Uh, just finish that up and glue it on. I added a little strip of black tie gala striped cardstock on the bottom with kind of an angled flag end there. I thought that was a cute little addition. So for the final card, I'm using the Cottage Corsage stamp set and the Rose Petals ink pad. So I love the look of this stamp when stamped in black and colored in. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it looks really beautiful too, just stamped in a color with a gorgeous sentiment on top. I'm using the Rose Petals ink pad to do direct to paper and create rose petals cardstock. I think it makes a really nice addition and a nice layer there. So we'll glue all of this together and there we go. Three cards made with the thanks sentiment in the Riviera, Trivi or Riviera Trio. <laughs> I hope you guys are inspired and excited to get your hands on these embossing powders. If you have any questions about any of the products below, there will be a listing of everything I use with links to the shop. If you're new here, I hope you will subscribe to my channel and I will see you again on the next video.